Hi, it's Beverly Cole, and we're going to do some paper folding today. It's a lot of fun. I used the Floral Surprise Paper Bundle Digi Set by Fred She Said. And I'm showing you here that when I wanted the flower small, I just repeated the pattern small four times. On the other side, I left it full size. It is 12 by 12. My paper is 8.5 by 11. So I just let it hang over the edges and printed it. It came out fine. Now I'm just showing you that I am trimming each one of these and I really didn't need to print this much, but it's just such beautiful print. I just got carried away. You only need a bit. We're going to make small pieces with this. So you only need enough really to cut uh, 10 pieces that measure 7 eighths inch by 2 and a fourth inches. The background starts out five by seven, but after you put your border across, you'll probably end up trimming a little bit off the five inch side. I like to work with a little wiggle room. You're going to need three of one for each row and two, three in one direction of folds and two that fold the opposite directions. Now it may look like all you do is flip it upside down and they're all the same, but believe me, they're not. This is a really good project for, especially for us in the upper upper age numbers, <laughs> because it's really good for your brain. It's a challenge for your brain, sure enough. So here I'm showing you how I just fold them with a very sharp point, and the edges need to match up very well. You're putting, you're folding right straight edge against straight edge with sharp points. Here I'm, I got a little bit brain tied or twisted and ended up folding the opposite direction and had to fix it. So it definitely helps to line them up like I'm doing here once you fold them so you can see how they will go across. I made enough for two layers and I'm attaching them with quarter inch terrific tape, which as you trim, you end up getting a really nice point to flip around. Yeah, flip it around, uh-huh, turn over the tape, <laughs> and do the other side. So each piece needs to have two strips of tape. Don't worry about which two sides you put them on. It doesn't matter on the back, is, of course, but it doesn't matter which two sides, as long as they're sides that are across from each other diagonally. I mean, horizontally. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so brain twisted here. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. So I will continue to do this and get all the tape ready. I've already attached one border, so you don't have to sit through two. And I'm just finishing up with the tape. Now the fun part. I think this is so much fun. And you can fold all these and everything in front of the TV. Get a bunch done and do several cards at one time. Tear off the tape. tape paper and yeah it's confusing me again <laughs> and start your other border you want the point right down in the corner of the paper and I'm really trying to get better about staying in camera I really really am so here's the second one And I don't really worry about the pattern or which one is folded uh, with the inside color, the outside color. It's too much to think about. Of course, you can. You can be uh, more particular, but I just wasn't. So some of them are folded with the yellow inside and some of them are folded with the blue side inside. But you really have to look at it to figure it out because they all look great together. And here's the two borders. Now going to use the base scallop layering basics die set and I'm going to make a sentiment and I know I know I know I'm making this on Thursday by the time you see it Easter will be over but don't worry I fix it in the end so I went ahead also and made a frame out of the, another piece of the leftover paper. So it turned out that I made enough. 
And I got a little white border on top because I wanted to make sure the frame went all the way around the words. And I could have trimmed it off, but I decided I liked the little white border a bit after I laid it on top of the card. Gave a little bit of uh, dimension. So using some good strong glue, I glued it in place. And now is when I realize it's not Easter, but that's okay because you can fix it. And here's how you fix it. Just cut another one from this one, one of, from one of the dies and glue it in place. Because it's a die cut, it fits perfectly. Easy peasy. Nobody will ever know. And now for, of course, a little bit of glitter, or maybe not a little bit of glitter. It's not as much glitter as some people like. I said it before, I don't like things that jump out at you too much. And with all that's going on with all of the design on the paper, I decided to just kind of be subtle about where I put the glitter. So I'm putting some first on with the glue, using the quickie glue pen the purple parts. Just scribbling a little bit in all of the purple flowers. And then I'm using purple dust glitter. And just tapping it onto the areas that I need it instead of just dumping it on the whole card. There really isn't any reason to get it everywhere because then I have to worry about getting it all brushed off, but that wouldn't matter anyway because of the uh, the glitter brush that we use is just so great. Okay, so tap it off and give it a couple seconds to dry. It doesn't take long. Then I'm going to continue and repeat with three other colors and white. So now I'm doing pink, all of this darker shaded pink areas, but I'm not being too particular. Just kind of scribbling some in. Notice I'm not coating the entire flower. You could, but I, like I said, I, I kind of like it to be a bit subtle and artsy looking. So it gives a little more dimension, but you can still see some of the flower. And this is um, semi-transparent glitter, so it would show the flower anyway. Now this, this uh, shell pink glitter is so beautiful. When I put it on here, I was just amazed at the the beautiful color combination and shimmer in this glitter. And here we come with it. Shell pink. So gorgeous. I love this color. It looks so much more beautiful in real life. In fact, the entire card looks more beautiful in real life, so make sure you give this a try because the colors are just so brilliant. And the papers are absolutely beautiful. And now I'm going to use some Daisy glitter. And this one is a uh, microfine glitter. That's why it has a white top. Very fine glitter. But on the card, I'm just choosing colors more than uh, the consistency of the glitter. On this, with this technique, it doesn't really matter which one. I just love the color of the daisy. It's perfect for flowers. So I'm just touching all the little yellow areas, even in some of the white flowers or the other color flowers. If there's a little bit of yellow, I'm touching it with some quickie glue pen, which is a two-way glue, so when it dries, it's permanent and when you have it, when it's wet it's permanent when you dry it becomes tacky which is why we can use it with glitter if you were going to use it on the dry glue you would burnish the glitter in but since the glue, the glue is wet we can just pour it right on and it will dry perfectly and after I use my glitter brush to remove all the glitter excess glitter it won't come off anymore after that it'll be great perfect Perfect, perfect. Look at that card, it's just so pretty. The colors are starting to really jump out wherever I put the glitter. And now 
we're going to add some blue. And this is called waterfall, waterfall glitter. Not too much blue. I didn't touch the blue background. I just want it to be very subtle. So you can use a multitude of colors and still have a subtle finish to your card. And you can always add more. If you decide that it needs more, just add more. And now for the final color, I'm using white glitter and I'm just touching all the little white areas. And this glitter is beautiful as well and it's semi-transparent and it's called Waterscape. We have such beautiful whites. Such a variety. So I decided to use Waterscape. Putting my coffee filter under one more time and now there's white on a lot of areas, so you might see me pouring a little bit more, but I only do one side of the card at a time. And it's matted on a piece of white cardstock, if you like. And here's our beautiful card. Thanks for stopping by. Have fun. See you in the next video.